Well, another February of prayer is wrapped up. 29 days, a leap year. And I think the most important thing about these times isn't just the time of prayer alone in that building because the time of prayer alone in that building was precious to me. I had the opportunity some days to be all by myself and those, there was just actually just one day that I was all by myself here. Other than that, every other day, I had someone else to pray with every morning, someone to share in communion with, someone to lift up, some of you. And it blessed me every single time. So thank you, first of all. Thank you for those of you who woke up early. Thank you for those of you who came out and held hands. Thank you for those who shared with me in communion. But I think the most important thing about prayer is not the fact that we actually got involved in the prayer, not the fact that we actually spent that time on our knees, not the fact even that we shared in communion, but how did it change us and how did it change our world? When I, my 33rd year of February's being out here praying, and when I think about it, I want to think, well, how has this, these 33 years changed me? Have they made me a better person? Have they made me easier to be around with my family? Have they made me more gracious with strangers? Have they made me more loving? Have they made me kinder or have they just made me tired and wanting more sleep? Have they made me just more of a struggle to be around for Debbie? You know, how has it changed me personally? Today at the end of our prayer time, I read all of Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, which is where my focus has been all month long. But at the end of it, the chapter closes like this. It says that, and if you keep all of these laws and commands, this will be our righteousness. And I think about what a hard rule that is by keeping all these laws and commands, that being our righteousness. And then I went over to Philippians 3.19, where the apostle Paul writes to the early church and says this, but no longer just in keeping the laws and commands, but now in Christ Jesus, we discover that Christ is our righteousness. And for me, that relationship, that opportunity to be in love with Jesus and know that Jesus is in love with me and to have that relationship on a morning by morning basis where I can wake up, I can pray, I can be in celebration with him, I can share in communion, I can meet others and know that there's one who is my righteousness when I fail, when I falter, that I have the opportunity to know that the steadfast love of the Lord never changes. His mercies ever abound to the end. They're new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. For me, that's what February has meant. I've prayed for some of you. I've prayed for revival in our church, revival in our community. I've prayed for God, to open up windows of blessings on those of you who have committed to tithe, renew your commitment to tithe, made new commitment to tithe. I've prayed for your families, for healing, for hope, for restoration. I've prayed for those of you who have lost loved ones this month. I've prayed for my family, my siblings, their children. I've prayed for my cousins. I've prayed for my children. I've prayed for Debbie. I prayed for me, that God would use me at the beginning of this month. My commitment was that I was going to use this month to listen. I failed. Really, I'll come to the end of the month and I'd like to say I succeeded so well in learning to listen. I succeeded again in starting out and making it here every day, being here for prayer, being ready but still coming and begging, begging God, and so often not listening. I need to learn how to listen so much more. So I've got plenty to do as we come into March and wrap up this month of February. Are you listening today? Are you listening to your body? Are you listening to the voice of God? Are you listening to the world around you? Are you listening to the people who are crying out to be heard? This is an incredible invitation to enter into this day and say we want to be a people who are listening because when we listen the righteousness of God moves in us and moves through us with this wonderful relationship that he's given us with him and with each other this is an invitation to listen and it's how we step away from mediocrity and into a life that's absolutely miraculous hey go be the miracle today be the miracle in everything you say in everything you do 
Let's be the miracle together. Thank you again for each of you who shared in communion and prayer with me this month. I am looking forward to my regular routine picking back up. I'm looking forward to getting back on track, but I am so thankful for the invasion of communion and prayer at Central Community this February. God bless you and God bless the good work of Central Community.